everybody and welcome to today's video my name is jason aka vapes and games and in today's video we're going to be doing one simple thing which is reacting to the latest warframe or the prime warframe should i say from digital extremes which is protea prime we're going to be checking this trailer out watching it through this is the first time i've seen it we're going to watch it once without any commentary and then i'm going to sort of share some thoughts and feelings get into it again watch it a second time tell you guys what i think overall i'm really excited to be watching this so stay tuned at last esteemed parvos tell me what you desire and we shall furnish you my desire is well known to you assemble what i have designed and i shall be on my way Potent weaponry, exquisite anatomy, those are trivial. But temporal manipulation, even the entrati. The entrati have violated time, and I have violated them. Oh my gosh, that was a pretty intense, guys. There's a lot to take in with this one. I'm going to be brutally honest. We basically got... We got the latest Warframe here, Prosea Prime. I'm going to say production value, first and foremost. These shots are amazing. And the composition and the little close-ups on the detail of the character model. Absolutely insane. Like, props to Digital Extreme. How they make a 10-year-old game look brand new in this day and age, I do not know, but uh, they do it. Moving forward, we've got these sort of orbs, which is kind of like, I'm presuming, like, I'm new to the game, so forgive me. I'm spitballing here a little bit, but I'm presuming these are kind of what give her some of her powers and stuff like that, and are tied in to her abilities. We've got this lovely wide sweeping shot here. One thing that I do notice as soon as I saw her, she's got like this sort of Arabian princess vibe going on sort of cross with an assassin which i think is very 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 cool and i've noticed a lot of the characters are sort of based on sort of real life stuff like knights and mythological stuff and all sorts of things like kings queens so this is really cool she's got like a sort of an arabian princess crossed with dare i say a scarab s aesthetic kind of like a scarab uh egyptian style a bit mixed in there's a lot going on here but it overall it looks phenomenal as you move forward We've got the back shot. Yeah, again, textures absolutely on point. Loving the color codes and the color coordination. The white, the gold, and sort of the very dark orangey red just look phenomenal. Yeah, again, a facial shot there where you can see like an Arabian princess sort of veil over her face, which is absolutely sick. We then move on to sort of these corpus soldiers, which look kind of new. Uh, I'm presuming they're tied into her story somehow or how you unlock her in the actual game. This person in particular at the front looks like a new character that i've not seen before and the effects of how she jumps is sort of like trinity out of the matrix which i thought was phenomenal uh, absolutely brilliant jumps up and she's like you know it's like slowing time down giving it that matrix vibe which is brilliant We've also got these phenomenal hand cannons clearly some slight aim assist there unless that's tied into one of her abilities she throws the guns off or some sort of appendage or attachment or produces it which flies forward which has two 
bigger handguns on it, which sort of augment and flies the turret, which is just actually sick. You can kind of attack from two fronts, that helps out your turret on one side of the room, flank around and stuff like that. It's pretty cool, pretty interesting. And she's obviously dropping in, and that's her air attack with a drop in and boom, as I like to say when I'm playing the game. <laughs> then this rewind ability, like, absolutely phenomenal. A little bit like Echo out of League of Legends. Very elegant the way she moves around. Loving the handgun as well. Really, really suits the character. So overall, just a really, really, really polished trailer. Great looking Warframe. Absolutely next level. These are the weapons that come with the Prime Warframe package. Temporal Prime Ephemera. Ephemera. I don't even know how to say that. But basically, sort of a skin for the orb. We've got Akina Prime and Velox Prime which are obviously the size and the handgun very akin to sort of that arabian theme yeah again that i discussed earlier on we've also got rock Tron Prime, Sindana, which is like an awesome back piece just to polish off the actual look of the outfit. Now, I've got to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of that. I, I think it might look cool on other Warframe, but sort of the feather effects on the bottom, I don't think really match what this Warframe is going for. And the Granorium helmet, yet again, not the biggest fan. Um, kind of feel like the back piece of the helmet have just been sort of added for people that don't really too fond of... Uh, for people that are not too fond of female characters, you know, the helmet's a bit more masculine and so is the back piece but uh Prote prime as she is looks absolutely phenomenal i think they've really stepped the game up with this and the soundtrack itself is absolutely amazing so Protea prime is available now for anyone who'd like to pick her up and i hope you've enjoyed today's react content <laughs> if you've enjoyed today's video give it a thumbs up if you disliked today's video give it a thumbs down drop me a comment below and as always if you've enjoyed or got value out of this hit the subscribe button and ring that post notification bell and i'll see you guys in the next one